What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to play Area of Two on your computer. Now, before we get all the controversy all up in the comment section below, the first thing I'm going to talk about are the giveaway winners. There are actually going to be two of them. And to make sure that, you know, you guys don't think I'm bullshitting you about the giveaway, I'm going to show you guys on the screen uh, two winners. It's going to be Okta and it's going to be SXU Thief. So those are two winners. I have reached out to Okta. I'm still trying to get the code and to SXU respectfully. So I'm going to reach out to them, make sure to give them the codes and we should be good. Uh, I'm going to try to hold this giveaway each and every week, but we'll see how things go. So let's talk about how to download Area of Two on your computer and how to play it. The first thing you want to do is you want to go to your Google browser or whatever it might be and type in BlueStack. BlueStacks is basically an Android emulator that is accessible on your computer. <clears throat> You download it, you go to bluestacks.com, you download it, install it, and at that point, you're going to have two icons on your desktop. So you're going to open up Bluestacks, you click on it, pop it open, at which point it's going to basically have an Android device on your desktop. Then you just want to sign in into your Google account, go to Google Play Store, type in Area F2, download it, and at that point, you're good to go. Now, what I like about BlueStacks at this point, they actually done a couple of things to improve upon in their control schemes. Now, control schemes are something that's been kind of iffy on some of these emulators. And the fact that they actually have key mappings built in into this emulator makes things so much easier. They already have pre-mapped uh, pre keys that basically appeal and basically usable on most FPSs as far as PC gaming goes. So if you don't have a very powerful mobile device, this allows you to play Area of Two on max settings on max FPS and allows you to see just how gorgeous this game actually is without all the lag and uh, dropped frames from a mobile device perspective. Now, I know a lot of people gonna down, down in the comment section below are going to be talking about this. Oh my god, now we're going to have a bunch of PC players ruining our lobbies. Well, that is true for now, but... What I think they should do is I think they should split them up into two. They should split up the PC players from the actual touchscreen players. Now, what I don't think that should completely get rid of the emulators because that's something that Critical Ops did back in like 2017. Critical Ops was a popular mobile shooter that was accessible on... Um, uh, Facebook gaming or Facebook arcade, whatever it was. So it allowed you to play on your PC without actually using an emulator. Some, you know, some time passed, they decided to get rid of that section of the game. And they basically killed off, I want to say, maybe all the way up to 20%. It was probably between like maybe 10 and 15% of the player base. They just completely killed off that were not able to play that game. And that's basically where the downfall of the Critical Ops began. And at that point, they just started updating it in slower factions. And it just much slower updates, much less content. And people just kind of got stale of the game. And they just kind of left. And I really don't see the um, potential, you know, I really don't see the point in them completely cutting the PC players out of this game. What they should do is cut them in half, let the emulator players play against emulator players, and let people on touchscreens play against touchscreens. But hopefully you guys are going to enjoy the video, or hopefully guys you did enjoy this video. If you guys learned something from this video, or if you guys liked it, be sure to drop a like, subscribe to this channel for more videos like this, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace.